Well, John Coleman and I get to embrace one of our favorite people, Bill Jordan. Bill Jordan, the, the creator of Embrace the Boom. God bless you, Bill. Thank hey, you, Shane, guys. Um, shameless plug, shameless plug. Yep. <laughs> Bill, um, as we age and become baby boomers, baby boomers become older, uh, it's inevitable that we're going to lose loved ones. And I, uh, my condolences, I understand you lost your brother recently. Yeah, I lost my oldest brother. Terry died on uh, <clears throat> October 3rd. And he had been in the clutches of dementia for years and years wow. and years. <clears throat> Not Alzheimer's, because Alzheimer's would have taken him more quickly. It was more of a vascular dementia, uh, a lifetime of smoking and kind of a crappy diet and stuff like that for whatever reason. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I got the call and a text from my sister-in-law and, and nephew. And I tell you, I've, I've talked to other baby boomer types about when you lose, and we may have talked about this too, when you lose both parents and it dawns on you that you are an orphan. That's, that's one particular feeling that's hard to describe. Yeah. But when you lose a sibling, that's even, that's a whole nother ball game uh, because of the memories of growing up together and times we played or when he helped you. I mean, he was my radio mentor. He, I followed his path into the radio business. <clears throat> and I'd often thought about, <clears throat> excuse me, with his dementia, when was the last time he called me Bill? When was the last time he called me brother? And whenever yeah. I would go see him and he did call me name or, or brother, I mean, it was a real gift to me, you know, that he had done that. <clears throat> and I was over at my daughter's house helping him uh, this was before the, the funeral was set or anything. And, and I was thinking about him and I was talking with my daughter and son-in-law and having a good time helping them. And, but still thinking about my brother a lot. <clears throat> And my thoughts parted. This is the only way I can describe it. My thoughts parted. And in my head, I didn't hear his voice, but the thought was, Bubba, I'm okay. And it dawned on me at that moment, he rarely called me Bill. He rarely called me brother. He always called me Bubba. Growing up, hey, Bubba, let's go do this. Hey, Bubba. And that just, that was a gift to me. And you can call that whatever you think that was. Um, but that was a pretty powerful moment. I hope I always, always remember that. There's a book that uh, I can't remember the author's name. A friend of mine loaned me the book. It's called From Strength to Strength. And it's talking about as we get older, as boomers or whoever, and you retire and you put away that th your career. And then what do you do for the rest of your life? As we've talked about this before, and how then you become maybe a mentor or you become, you know, you, the, the, maybe you think more about being a role model for your kids or your grandkids. My brother Terry was a great role model um, and lived a great life and some great things said at his service. But part of the thing in that book was there are two kinds of virtues. There are resume virtues and there are eulogy virtues. And those of us who spoke at his service, his uh, celebration of life, and had an awful lot of great things to say. So, you know, when you go to, you go to a funeral of a, of a close friend or family member, <clears throat> I think it's natural for all of us to look around and go, you know, is anybody going to show up at mine? And are they going to have things to say that are, you know, they're going to be telling, laugh, you know, me laughing about stuff or sharing good stories and that's how he lived his life, and that's how I hope to be living my life. And when that day comes, um, I hope there, there are people will have some good things to say. But uh, for my brother, he was quite the, the mentor and the example for me, and uh, I'll always love it. Yeah. Well, how wonderful that you had him in your life. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And that you appreciate it. Yeah, and we appreciate it more as we get older. You know, looking back, it's like, you didn't yeah. really realize it, you know, so and other and people said some things about him that I that I'd never thought about, about his character traits or personality trait. And I thought, you know, that is really that's really yeah. true. Somebody would say, like, he never was flustered. He never. He never got like upset about anything. And it, it dawned on me that that was the case. He was always mm -hmm. calm. 
and always look at things with a sense of humor. And uh, what a gift. He truly was a gift to me. Yeah. And to everybody who knew him. Well, I think well, that's what all, all of us. As we get older, these things are going to happen. So I yeah. guess that's the gist of it, to accept our lives and appreciate everybody in your life. Right. Yep. And, and appreciate them before they have dementia and before yep. they have their. So let yep. the little let the little stuff just, uh, you know, uh, like uh, water off the duck's back. Just that's it. Pretend you're ignore a duck. that stuff because uh, yeah. life is too short. But anyway, Absolutely. it's wonderful that you had, uh, uh, first of all, that you had a brother. Uh, uh, a lot of us, you know, uh, uh, I have a wonderful sister and she's uh, still with us and uh, we speak often. Uh, probably not often enough, we in a couple times uh, a month maybe, uh, but uh, it's a reminder that probably not often enough. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got another brother. He's six years older than I. Terry was eight years older than I, and uh, brother Brad lives out in Texas. And mm. uh, I think we have uh, uh, come to appreciate, appreciate each other more as the years go along. So sure. uh, he's a real cheerleader for the family and, again, an asset. And I hope that I am one to, to the, the, my fellow family members as well. Yeah. Well, God bless you and your brothers and the family. And I want to remind everybody to embrace the boom. It's all That's part it. of life. Absolutely. So it's, this is really just uh, my little way of reminding fellow baby boomers to not, you know, bemoan where we are in life. And yeah, things maybe, you know, the, as they say, the check engine light starts to come on at some point. Um, <laughs> but basically, you know, live your life, forget your age and embrace the boom. The boom being the baby boomer years. Here, here. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Amen. I'll drink to that. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.